ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about thousands of top-rated patient-reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for the ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat almost any condition you're searching for. Go to ZocDoc.com slash something and download the ZocDoc app for free. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash something. ZocDoc.com slash something. Hi, I'm Stephanie Strange. Want to hear something scary? There's no worse feeling than the person you love and trust the most slipping away from you. But in the end, it might be for the best because a toxic relationship will kill you. Zoya's life was in grave danger. Her fragile frame covered the lonely road, gasping for each last breath. Amelie, her best friend, shouted for help, only to be met with silence from the empty highway. The callous hit-and-run driver had vanished into the darkness, leaving Zoya for dead. Amelie pressed her trembling hands against Zoya's bleeding wounds, but it was useless. Blood oozed through her fingers, and the grim reality set in. Zoya was dying. Through tears, Amelie pleaded for Zoya to stay with her, She was going to get help, but all she could do was watch helplessly as the light in Zoya's eyes faded away, while telling her that she was loved and she was not alone. Amelie felt panicked and searched all around for anything that could be useful. She spotted her bag on the opposite side of the road where they had been walking through the woods earlier that Saturday night. It had slipped her mind among all the chaos. Summoning her courage, Amelie hurried across the road, tipped over her bag and snatched her phone. She dialed for help, her voice trembling as she described a serious situation. With the phone still tightly gripped in her hand, she rushed back to Zoya. Tears streamed down Amelie's face as she cradled Zoya in her arms, weeping for her lost friend. Much to her astonishment, Zoya's eyes flung wide open as she desperately gasped for air. Though battered and disoriented, she found relief in the simple fact that she was still alive. When the medics finally arrived, They were all amazed by Zoya's miraculous survival. It was a medical miracle, inexplicable, but a cause for celebration. After a brief hospital stay, Zoya returned home with her best friend right back by her side. Amelie settled on the couch next to her friend, ready for a night of movies. I got all your favorite flavors, Amelie said, offering a bowl of snacks. As Zoya gazed at Amelie, her eyes held a hollow emptiness as she uttered the confusing words. Who are you? Amelie's heart sank, shattered by the realization that Zoya had seemed to not recall their memories together. However, it wasn't just the memory loss that troubled Amelie. There was something incredibly different about Zoya now. She withdrew from her old friends, avoiding their company as if they were strangers. Her grades started to drop. It was a stark contrast to the girl Amelie had known. Zoya sat in the classroom, secluded and whispering to herself. The unthinkable happened when Zoya, consumed by an unfamiliar rage, threw a book in the direction of a teacher who dared lecture her. It was evident that Zoya's transformation had taken her far away from the person she used to be, leaving Amelie yearning for answers and mourning the loss of her dear friend. Amelie spent her Saturday nights alone on the couch, lost in her thoughts. Her nanny noticed her granddaughter's depressed state. Amelie had a whole venting session explaining the bizarre changes in Zoya's behavior since the accident. She believed Zoya had died that night and was grateful for the second chance they were given, but nothing was the same anymore. She missed her best friend. Nani's eyes widened in shock. She demanded to know all the details about the night of the accident. Amelie recounted the moment when she believed she had watched Zoya die and how she had to leave her for a moment to call for help. Nani leaned in closer, her expression grave as she whispered, her voice barely above a hushed breath. That is not your friend, Amelie. That is a batal. Amelie's heart skipped a beat as her ears absorbed her grandmother's words. Amelie had heard stories passed down through generations that spoke of beings called batals, evil spirits that resided within lifeless bodies and desolate burial grounds. These cruel entities took over a dead person's body, giving the appearance of life. They could switch from host to host, living forever, making the bodies of the dead their home. Amelie, 
Nani's voice trembled with concern, her eyes filled with an unspoken fear. Promise me you'll stay away from Zoya outside of school. It, it's not safe. Struggling to comprehend the gravity of her grandmother's warning, she thought to herself, how do you avoid your best friend going forward? But deep down, she knew Zoya had been different. Expecting to find Zoya soundly asleep in her bed, she scanned the room only to discover its emptiness, forming a knot in her stomach. She knew something wasn't right. And then all of a sudden, a chilling drip broke the silence, causing Amelie to startle. Her eyes darted towards the source, her breath catching in her throat as she saw a puddle of blood slowly pooling on the windowsill. With trembling hands, Amelie leaned in closer, her eyes widening in a horrific disbelief. There, hanging upside down from the curtain rod, was Zoya. The shock coursing through Amelie's veins paralyzed her momentarily, her mind struggling to process the ghastly scene before her. A yelp of horror escaped her lips. But as if responding to her cry, Zoya's eyes snapped open, fixating on Amelie with an intense look. Zoya slammed her face against the glass like a deranged bird repeatedly colliding with invisible barriers, desperate to break free from its cage. Terrified and filled with a deep sense of dread, Amelie's instincts kicked in, propelling her to jump down and flee from the horrifying scene. The sound of the window shattering behind her only fueled her terror confirming the monstrous transformation that had consumed her dear friend. In her heart, she knew that whatever stood before her now was not Zoya, and the realization tore at her soul. Haunted by the memory of that night, Amelie made a conscious decision to avoid any contact with Zoya. Though it pained her to acknowledge, she understood that her best friend was gone, replaced by the evil entity that wore her skin like a mask. Moving on became a necessity for self-preservation, though it broke her heart. Amelie avoided Zoya after that. After a while, she was able to move on, knowing for sure that her best friend was gone. Every shadow held the potential for danger. Every unexpected noise sent her heart racing. But she would always remain on guard, trying to avoid the monster that stole her best friend's body. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong. So instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from the habit? Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that does just that. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. Head to tryfume.com and use code SCARY to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use code SCARY to save 10% off your order today. Thanks so much for listening. Like and share if this video gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. See you next time.